This is 5-Minute Feng Shui, episode 27. The wood element gets you growing again. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover Feng Shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement Feng Shui tips that you can put to work right away and usually in about five minutes. Now, let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to work outside. You know, no matter what kind of day I've had, if I can go outside and pull some weeds or plant some bedding plants or a new herb or um, cut some flowers, I just feel better. It just makes me feel in touch with the earth and with things that are growing. And I, I love making things grow and planting. Uh, there's just something about it, seeing a plant bear fruit or a tree grow. It just, it's so satisfying and it, it makes you feel like you have a sense of accomplishment. You know, when it comes to feng shui, the element of wood is, is an important one because it really relates to growth and change and helping you get unstuck. It's, it's by far one of the most persevering elements. We know about that uh, because just think about the sheer force of will of a simple blade of grass that grows through cement or asphalt. I don't know about you, but I marvel when I see plants in the middle of a parking lot. I was parking my car one day and it was asphalt in in the parking lot and there was the sweetest little primrose that just grew up out of it there was a little tiny crack and a seed made its way in there and out came this beautiful pink flower just blooming its heart out it shows that how nature has a, a way of continuing to grow and to overcome uh, that that is the very essence of the wood element it's an element of new beginnings now, in feng shui, there are five elements, and each one has its own personality and qualities. It also has benefits and drawbacks, too. Like all elements, wood is best when it's balanced out with other elements. And wood's biggest difference, though, is that it's one element that having an abundance of is really good for us. It is, it you know, you think about having, um, you know, energy and uh, oxygen and being in nature. I mean, what feels better than a a beautiful walk in the park among trees? It really is uh, a sign of health uh, and it's healthy energy. And in feng shui, it's a a sign of chi. And it's it's really uh, so powerful. I mean, just think about when you drive through a neighborhood and you see homes that have beautiful landscaping around them. It's, it's, that attractive, lush, and vibrant uh, landscape around a home that 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 gives it energy. It infuses energy into that home, and you know that's one of the best investments that you can make for your home is to invest in landscaping. It pays you back in beauty and in growth and opportunity. And I just can't imagine not having a house that that didn't have a beautiful landscape uh, surrounding it because it gives that energy to your home and everyone uh, who who lives in it because all energy begins outside and works its way in. So uh, this is also the the element that is associated with good health, with family relationships, the oldest son, and it relates to the east and southeast corners of your home. It's also associated with accumulated savings. The southeast is the sector that represents investments and growth of savings and uh, accumulated wealth and small wood is the is the element associated with that with wealth interestingly because well think about it when we have a small bedding plant what are we hoping for we're hoping it'll grow right we're hoping we ha- we take a small package of bedding flowers and we hope that they grow into large bedding flowers just like we have for our wealth we hope that uh, by uh, planting seeds 
means investing money or putting money into savings, it will grow. And so that is um, one of the things that it's associated with. And it's also associated with good health. So when you have uh, good, healthy, lush landscaping, it adds to your, your health as well. This is also an element that is just best described as as a yang energy because it's growing and living and it keeps going until it you know winter stops it or <laughs> and then winter changes and it comes it all comes back out again it is a very positive energy it has a very yang energy it's often uh the number that you see uh the number three is associated with the wood element and it is you often see uh um, in chinese uh, emporiums you'll see these chinese coins and they're always tied together in groups of three or you'll see three statues and that's because the number three again relates to growth Um, but you know there's also had some downsides too and knowing both woods positives and negatives helps you to understand how to use it to your advantage and control it when it's in excess so let's talk about uh, some of the ways that it can benefit you you know So we talked about how wood brings good health. Now, when we think of good health, we think about fruits and vegetables and eating more of those things, juices and that sort of thing. These are the riches of nature that come to to mind. And these foods and even flowers are excellent symbols of vibrant health and vitality. So keep the landscape around your home trimmed and attractive, healthy and lush, and you'll invite good health to your home. And even keeping a bowl of fruit on your table or your kitchen counter symbolizes growth and good health and the fruits of of plants and that is a very positive and auspicious uh, sign to have out so you know get eat those fruits and veggies right and that what they say five a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> and when you want a new beginning wood is your element you know if life has frustrated you or you feel like you're kind of stuck and stagnant start thinking about green um, just like the first blades of grass that peak up in the winter uh, this represents new life and and spring coming and it and that element represents new beginnings in your life so when you want to have new beginnings or you feel like you've been kind of stuck or stagnant green's your color wear green think of uh, saint patrick's day and (laughs) and get that green color going because it will help to make you feel healthier inspire new growth and help you feel unstuck I know I did a, a webinar uh, in on Facebook one time and I had on a green shirt. It was a bright green shirt. Boy, did I get the comments on that shirt. Uh, and I think it's because of the color. And it, I think we all resonate with, with uh, beautiful uh, greenery and it, that represents the beauty of nature. Now, when you want to... Um, when you have a new beginning or you want a new beginning, uh, look at putting flowers by your front door and putting in new bedding plants. Um, Add some potted herbs in your kitchen or flowers to your living room or your dining table. Grouping plants in threes is really auspicious and it's terrific when you want to really get growing again. Um, Another thing I love to do and I think it's really good, especially if you want to be recognized, that's part of sometimes Sometimes, you know, getting unstuck, we feel sort of stuck because nobody's recognizing our work and we're just, you know, thrashing away trying to, you know, uh, do our jobs or, or, or our businesses or what have you. And we want that recognition. And one of the ways you can do that is go take a tree bath. Uh, that's what they're called in Japan is tree bath. This is the country that gave us Marie Kondo, right? <laughs> so walk outdoors and take a tree bath to help boost your social life and recognition and give you that good healthy growing energy again now when you want to promote your own personal growth and get unstuck uh, add some decorative wood elements around your home whether it's a small plant on a side table or maybe some bamboo shades in your windows or baskets introducing wood elements like baskets or trays adds healthful and growing energy to your life even throw pillows or decorative elements in a green color with that spark of green adds that sort of growing abundant energy feeling to your home now 
It is important that you do keep a check on plants. Too many is not a good thing. And in fact, in some places, it can actually cause more problems. So for instance, one of the ways that wood element can be distressing is if there's too many plants or floral motifs in your home, especially in a relationship bedroom. Uh, floral motifs should not be in a relationship bedroom. Uh, when you, you know, if you think about hotels, you when you go there, they usually have solid colored bedding and linens they don't have floral motifs and that's a good sign that you know um, it's more neutral and that's what we want to have in our our own bedroom so if your love life is stalled and you have a floral pattern on your bedding then look at or drapes then look at removing those with and replacing it with something more neutral another problem with uh, excess plants or floral motifs is the anger related depression that's where you get into a funk because you're frustrated and maybe angry and uh, this is something that can harm relationships it can help it can send you on a downward spiral so look around and see uh, if you've got a excess of floral uh, patterns in your upholstery or or your surroundings linens that kind of thing uh, or maybe too many plants altogether or the plants that you have have are unhealthy if they're stringy or leggy or they're overcrowded um, then that that can also bring your energy down and take a toll on relationships so if you find that you're having um, that kind of an issue look around look at your plants and see if maybe they're not in the best state if they look like they're dying there's nothing sadder than a plant that looks like it's dying it or or a plant that doesn't get watered often enough and it just droops that's actually a really negative thing for us to see because we're a natural part of the world just like like nature is and when we see a plant drooping that's a living thing then uh, we droop too there's something about us that that our energy is diminished so while a few plants are healthy and attractive they're better if there's not too many of them and uh, they're not too crowded because this can cause some, like I said, some relationship difficulties. Now, trees and plants can support you. Uh, and one of the ways they can do that is um, adding a, a pair of plants, like a planters on either side of your front door. They are a great way to, to act as guardians for your door. They're protective and they're saying this front door is important and come opportunities and also be protective for you. Uh, now, if, you're ha if you have a house that slopes away at the rear of the property, you could find that you are having difficulties keeping money, uh, maintaining relationships, that you're always sort of um, pushing a boulder up a greased hill, and that you're working really, really hard to keep things going. That's because you don't have support at the rear. If this has happened to you and you notice that the, the land sli uh, slopes away from your house at the rear, then you're feeling like you're going it alone and everything is so hard. And one way you can, you can help that is just by adding a row of trees from behind that grow up and act as that support that's missing. Now, it's really important that you are surrounded by trees and shrubs and flowers that are healthy and that are living. Now it may sound like a dumb thing but it's really important because trees emit strong energy and that's true whether they're dead or alive. You never want to cut down a tree and leave the stump there because this represents a cutting off of health and this can be very harmful. So you want to make sure that your trees are regularly trimmed and not overgrown because too much shade also creates health and family problems and maybe some issues of around depression, that kind of thing, because then they become uh, a yin instead of yang. Plants are, are considered yang, uh, but one, if they become uh, too close to the house, if they're, they're cut off at the bottom, then that is a very negative symbol. Um, now, um, you want to make sure that there are no dead trees or shrubs that 
shrubs and or uh, vines don't grow on the house or trees that touch the house because this can cause severe health problems. You want to make sure and you, certain that you throw out any plants that aren't lush and healthy looking and keep those trees trimmed because a plant that looks like it's struggling can cause you to struggle in your health as well. Now let's talk about anger because actually wood relates to anger and if you find that you're feeling angry or that your family members are arguing or bickering there may be too much wood energy in your home like lots of big pieces of wood furniture lots of brown furniture brown um brown um upholstery uh, and if there's too much brown upholstery it can add some anger so one of the ways that you can bring back family harmony if there's if you find that you know you don't want to get rid of all your furniture <laughs> that's all wooden looking uh, but you can just add some red colors and that will help to um, that will help to dampen some of the anger energy the same is uh, you could also do that by adding candles in there or keeping the lights turned on and really nice and light and bright uh, this will help to uh, handle arguments, especially if they start at a dinner table. Why? Right? There would, typically. And if it's a rectangle or square-shaped table, you can find that, that arguments break out there. So this is what we want to, to manage is that anger issue. And so if you find that arguments are breaking out over the, over the table, then maybe you're going to want to add more candles or a really big bright chandelier there. Now, when you want to enhance your personal growth, if you feel like your life has been stagnant or you feel stuck, you're going to want to activate the east and southeast corner to give your life a new boost. And one of the ways you can do that is adding a, a water fountain to those corners because that helps feed the wood energy. If you think about you know, how do we keep plants alive? We add water to them, right? So having a fountain in those corners, one can help your health and help your wealth because the Southeast corner is the, is the corner of uh, accumulated money and savings, investments and that kind of thing. So adding water here will, uh, will absolutely help the Southeast corner, help you accrue uh, more money as well as get you moving and unstuck. This is um, the water is uh, an element of transformation and wood is the element of personal growth. So when you put those two together, you get, uh, they'll help you get unstuck and you'll start feeling that movement once again going in your life. Uh, I can't say enough for hearing water moving uh, unless you're asleep. You never want to hear water when you're asleep. Just think of a dripping sink or that running toilet that flushes on and off all night. You never want to hear it when you're sleeping. But it, it's a really nice thing. Even if you think about going up to um, a house or a hotel that has a pretty fountain up front, it just makes you feel good. You feel like something's flowing and that's that chi and that energy that's, that's, that gets you unstuck. Wood element symbols can also activate your, your, for your wealth and your, and your investments. So for instance, like a, uh, for wealth, if you want to get unstuck in your money, add a fleshy leaved plant, like a jade plant. These are perfect in the southeast corner of your home, which is the corner of wealth and accumulated money and investments. Flowers like chrysanthemums and orchids and narcissus are also auspicious for activating wealth energy in your home. Anything that's a bulb flower, like a hyacinth or a narcissus, paper whites, amaryllis, those are all represent stored wealth and they're really auspicious when you put them out in your home. Um, orchids are terrific for career progress and growth and that and also more money. So orchids make a really positive influence uh, in your life for getting money moving going and, and getting that going. The other, you know, there's also good strength and longevity and good health uh, elements uh, or wood elements that are, are also especially auspicious. And those are um, bamboo or pine trees. Uh, these are usually long lived, they're strong and uh, they're resilient and they grow everywhere. Uh, I think bamboo is the plant that grows absolutely everywhere, I think, uh, except Antarctica, <laughs> but it's absolutely everywhere else. And um, the fruiting trees are also another great uh, element to add to your landscape because they represent abundant health, vitality, and happy family relationships, as well as 
um, a production of and an accumulation because when you think about those blooming uh, trees like a cherry tree or a pear tree or uh, a, a peach tree these are all plants that bear fruit uh, another really wonderful uh, element to add to your home are citrus plants so like a, a lime tree a lemon tree and especially an orange tree you can put those in in planter pots and move them in and out of your house if as the weather permits or if you have the the uh, type of weather that uh, supports citrus plants they're great to add to your to your landscape because they represent they represent the abundant prosperity and uh, and oranges are symbols of gold in in feng shui so hopefully this has given you some ideas of how to use the wood element to create some new beginnings and new growth. Now, as always, I like to leave you with three tips uh, at the end and let here let's get started. So the first tip is to always keep your your plants trim and neat. It's absolutely vital that you do not have stumps in your yard. They can really create health problems disease, uh, a cutting off of income and health, um, and dead trees or plants that are barely clinging to life are also you, you very negative and they have a tendency to bring the whole energy of the entire house down and that includes your health energy, your relationship energy, and your money energy. Number two, always keep plants trimmed. You never want to have plants that overgrow your windows. Then that means you can't see clearly. You want to make sure that they're trimmed below and that they don't they don't crowd your windows. You want to make sure that they never touch your house. So uh, make sure you keep them nice and trim and, uh, and that they don't touch your house, especially tree limbs. A tree can take energy because that's what, that's what, plants do is they take up energy like from the earth and if they touch your house they'll take up your energy too so we don't want that or plants growing on walls that kind of thing so keep them all nice and trim and neat lastly add auspicious plants to your house this could be bedding plants flowers up at the front to create more opportunities to come to your front door it, it could be citrus plants that you either have indoors or, or you plant outdoors orchids for more money uh, peach or apple trees for abundance and good health, jade plants for wealth, bamboo for longevity and uh, strength and determination. These are all many different ways that you can use plants to really boost your energy, get you unstuck, and give you lo- give your home the uh, opportunity to grow, help you grow, and uh, and also to ensure good health. So hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode of five minute feng shui it's about one of my favorite things and that's plants and the wood element thanks for listening today to five minute feng shui the year of the pig is coming and i want to share with you where you can find everything you want in the year ahead that's because the prosperity star is coming this year and it's showering us with a roman candle of opportunities for money abundance and love and it's all in my annual Feng Shui Forecast Success Pack. You'll get a full year of in-depth Feng Shui details of how to use the energy of the year for success and prosperity. And it's for every house and every zodiac sign. And my forecast also includes lucky clothing colors, handbag, and wallet colors. You'll get a full zodiac report for your Chinese zodiac sign and so much more. Be sure to go to redlotusletter.com forward slash annual for all the details on the year of the pig.